Tyler, we are here. Uh, last time you were managed by Maggie. Uh, this time you're getting managed by me. We are here, first round of the tournament. Last time you got a knockout. Um, I, I'm excited. This is going to be really exciting. Unfortunately, we have to play a faction mate. Uh, the current team, uh, champion, Michael. It's a sad day that we have to play a faction mate, but I think you're ready. Um, you came into this league wanting to play in Warzone and wanting to just crush it in Warzone. Are you excited? Excited for this okay. match and just uh, yeah. All right. Well, let's do this. Uh, best of luck to Michael and best of luck to Cody. Uh, obviously, we love them. This is going to be fun. Let's do it. Well, Michael has always been somebody I wanted to manage, but I've only managed him in teams because he wasn't really big on the faction thing. And then this season, he's kind of jumped on board and uh, kind of been my co-manager through this. Uh, I don't like that we have to face Tyler in the first round. I don't like it first order versus first order, but it, how it lines out. Um, again, Michael is the most unlucky player in Warzone that has played. His record is abused from season one he's never been able to climb out of that hole because of just scheduling stuff so i think this is the tournament that we need to go on a run we need to show what kind of player he is um again if tyler wins tyler wins but i really need michael to pull out a win here today just because his record can't afford another loss at this point we uh we want him playing the rest of the season he's just too good of a player to not so good luck tyler but we need that win Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Multiplex Movie Wars, and we got a great match for you today. It is the 14 seed versus the 19 seed. It is a first order civil war. So, what better than to have Tyler versus Michael facing off? Or if we have Tyler versus Michael facing off, then to have a first order member, Nick Twig, on the desk. That's what I meant to say. I am sorry. I woke up about a half hour ago. Twig! Hey! How do you feel about this matchup? Well, I'm here because I'm very good at Warzone, but um, the two people playing today might be even better. Um, I think either one could pull out the win. I don't think you could call either one an upset, but, you know, we're pulling for both these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So without further ado, let's just bring everybody in. So introducing first coming in the ring with one win, zero defeats, representing the Sith Happens team and the First Order. It is the 19 seed, Tyler the Baba Yaga Butler. <laughs> and introducing second coming into the ring with three wins, three defeats. Actually, yeah, three wins, three defeats. It is the 14 seed, Michael the Golden God Campbell. Okay, now that I am even more disoriented, we can get started with round one. Round one's going to work like this. Eight different questions, eight different categories. You get all eight right, you get a bonus question. So, uh, Nick, do you want to start us off? I'd be honored, Mr. Bowman. Thank you. Uh, your first question, gentlemen, is in the category of coming of age slash teen. Who stars as Ronald Miller in Can't Buy Me Love? You know... Bowman, you can't buy me love, but you could rent it for like an hour. Fair enough. That's a quote from the movie. Is that, that, movie. I, that sounded familiar. I can't, I don't, you'll have to tell me what that's from later. Four, I'll tell you later, bud. Three, two, one. Pen sound. Let's start with Tyler. I haven't seen this one, so I just wrote down Robert Downey Jr. And Michael. Patrick Dempsey. That is correct. Okay. I just want to point out, I have my tie written on my board for Michael and Tyler, and I thought that was funny, but now I just realized it's a dumb joke. Your next question comes in the category of animation. What is the name of the villain made up of bugs and snakes in The Nightmare Before Christmas? So you said my tie. Little backstory. My, okay. my internet is kind of going on. Oh, we'll give you a free um, repeat. Can I, uh, can what I is, repeat? Yeah, I'm giving you a free one. In animation, what is the name of the villain made up of bugs and snakes in The Nightmare Before Christmas? It's going to be a hell of a match. 
So uh, one of my first dogs' names was Mai Tai, and it's because we name our dogs after um, the drink we give to my mom right before we take her to the pet store to inevitably get a dog. Fair enough. Great. So without further ado, five, four, three, two, one, pins down. Let's go to Tyler. Uh, I forgot what his name was. Like well, Oogie Boogie. Oh. And Michael. Oogie Boogie. That is correct. All right. 2 1 lead going into your third question, which is in the category of musical. What musical has the songs G Officer Krupke? Krupke. Krupke and Something's Coming. So G Officer Krupke and Something's Coming. Thank you for the help on the pronunciation. I, of course, have seen this film hundreds of times. I just didn't know how to pronounce it. We could write books about all the wars on knowledge you have. You scare me. Five. Thank you. Four. Appreciate three, it. Two. One. Pens down. Pens down. Let's start with Michael. Dies and Dolls. And Tyler. Is that Hello Dolly? That is incorrect. Looking for West Side Story. West Side Story. Okay. Your next question uh, comes in the category of Oscars. James Stewart won his only Oscar for what film? You ever won an Oscar? I... No, but I met a guy named Oscar who wanted me to win him. I'm not legally allowed to go on more than that story. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. The Iowa State Fair gets very scary. Let's go to Michael. The Philadelphia story. And Tyler. And Philadelphia story. That is correct. All right, your fifth question. He's in the category of movie quotes. What film has the line, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is? Do you want to know what love is? I want you to... Sh I'm sorry, I won't say. No, it's okay. I, I was keep, actually... Keep going. I was enjoying it, yeah. No, I won't. Oh, come on. Four. I, I want just... you to show me... No. Okay. This is good, boys. Tyler. Yeah, nothing. And Michael. Forrest Gump. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Your next question comes in the category of sports movies. These are movies that made me feel bad when I was in middle school. Glory Road centers around what sport? You want to keep singing, or no? No, <laughs> no we're just we're done with that. Glory Road. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go five, okay. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Michael. Uh, the best sport, basketball. And Tyler. Same basketball. That is correct. All right, gentlemen. Your nearly final question is in Action and Adventure. What 2018 action movie is about an ex-cop who is caught up in a life-threatening conspiracy on his daily train ride home? Life-threatening conspiracy, I realize I. Have you ever been in a life-threatening conspiracy, Twig? Um, yep, just uh, about you know an hour ago, I was in a four and a half hour uh, life-threatening conspiracy. That's fair, fine. <laughs> Four, three, two, I'll pray for you. One, let's start with Tyler. The commuter. And Michael. Oh, I said nonstop. The commuter is correct. And your final question comes in the category of recent releases. These are movies that don't really exist anymore. What decade does Ford v. Ferrari take place in? <laughs> Am I wrong? You're not wrong. Pretty soon, recent releases is just going to be like Sonic the Hedgehog and onward. That's almost all it is already. 
<laughs> Pretty much. I go in five. The new category, like three. It would have been recent. Two, one. <laughs> Pens down. Questions about like hypothetical movies. Let's start with Michael. Uh, 1960s. And Tyler. And 1960s. That is correct. Okay, so uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have Michael at... I have six. Yeah, I have six and Tyler at five. Is that what you have? That's what I have. Okay, we're going to get into round two. Round two is going to work like this. You're going to have ten different categories on the wheel, including spinners and opponent's choice. Uh, you're going to get a chance to spin the wheel if you like. What you spin, you can keep it. If you don't, you can spin again, but then you are stuck with it. You're going to get five questions, whatever category you get. You get it right, you get two points, you go to multiple choice, that's one point. Or if you get it wrong, other player gets a chance to steal. The categories we have on our wheel tonight are movie release dates, which is Michael Strength, Rocky, which is Tyler's, uh, that's the whole Rocky franchise, musicians turned actors, sports, 90s action movies, which is Tyler's Strength, opponent's choice, classic director filmography, which is Michael's, dramas, and 80s movies. So... We'll bring in Michael's manager. Would you like to spin first or defer? We want to go second, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll go second. Michael going second. We will bring in Tim for Tyler's spin. Yeah. And you land on your strength of 90s action movies. All right. We should probably keep that then, huh? All right. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Tim, you were alive in the 90s longer than I was. Do you want to take these questions? Well, if my name was Tim, I'd be happy to. But I'm I'm <laughs> I will take questions anyway. <laughs> Caleb woke up a half hour ago. Gentlemen, your question in 90s action for uh, round two. Tyler, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Question number one. In addition to playing Artemis Gordon, Kevin Klein also plays what other character in 1999's Wild Wild West? I have to do multiple choice. Okay, your multiple choice options are A, Davy Crockett, B, Ulysses S. Grant, C, Mark Twain, or D, Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, D. D is incorrect. We're going to go to Michael for a one-point steal. Your options again are A, Davy Crockett, B, Ulysses S. Grant, C, Mark Twain, D, Teddy Roosevelt. I'm going to say A. A is also incorrect. We were looking for Ulysses S. Grant. <sighs> but moving on to your second question in 90s action. Who plays arms dealer Max in Mission Impossible? Oh. Oh. Vanessa Redgrave? That's correct for two points. Your third question. In True Lies, what does Bill Paxton's character sell? Used cars. I think we can take that for two points. Yep, uh, we just had cars, so Tyler got more than we needed. So we're wow. great. Your fourth question, then: Michael Caine plays villainous oil CEO Michael Jennings in what action film? Here, can I get a repeat? Sure. Uh, repeating the question. Michael Caine plays villainous oil CEO Michael Jennings in what action film? We'll do a multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, B, Blue Ice, C, On Deadly Ground, D, Drop Zone. Ah. Uh. Say B, as in boy? B as in boy is incorrect. We're going to go to Michael for a one-point steal. Your options, again, are A, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, B, Blue Ice, C, On Deadly Ground, D, Drop Zone. I'll say C. C 
on deadly ground is correct for the one point steal. And Tyler, your final question in 90s action. In Mortal Kombat, what is the name of the dark realm where evil Emperor Shao Kahn resides? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, out palace, B, out zone, C, out land, D, out world. Out world? Our world is correct for one point. Okay, so Tyler uh, getting five points there in that round. Michael getting the one point. Well, I do have 10 to 7 going to Michael Spin. I, I have 11 to 7. Oh, I have 10. I have 15. Oh, huh. okay. Okay. So you have two one pointers and one. Uh, yeah, that's right. That was the last one. So one pointer. This is your spin, Michael. Classic director filmography. Would you like to keep that or stay ahead? So, we just take it, right? Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you good with it? Uh, I think I can take it and come out of it with, like, the round of the lead, I think. Okay. I trust you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I will give you your questions in classic director filmography, Michael. Who directed Bell, Book, and Candle, The Notorious Landlady, and Paris when it sizzled. Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Richard Keene, B, George Cukor, C, William Wyler, D, Henry Coster. A. That is correct for one point. Who directed Lost Horizon, Lady for a Day, and Meet John Doe? Multiple choice. Okay. Options are A, Howard Hawks, B, Frank Capra, C, John Ford, D, George Cukor. Frank Capra. That is correct for one point. Who directed The Major and the Minor, One, Two, Three, and Kiss Me Stupid? Uh, Billy Wilder. That is correct for two points. Who directed The Ship of Fools, The Defiant Ones, and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? Stanley Kramer. That is correct for two more points. And who directed West Side Story, Sound of Music, and The Haunting? Robert Wise. That is correct. Okay, so Michael does take the lead there, 15 to 10, as we go into... Tyler, or as we go into round three, sorry, uh, round three is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to be able to pick what they want, their one, their two, their three, and their four pointer. Uh, the categories they will be able to pick from tonight are Jennifer Lawrence, Christopher Lauren, Nolan, classics, <laughs> sci fi fantasy, drama, romance slash romantic comedy, war, and scores and soundtracks. We're going to let them pick their categories right now. We will get back to you right now. Okay, so our competitors have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-pointer. Tyler has picked his one in sci-fi fantasy, his two in war, his three in Jennifer Lawrence, and his four in Christopher Nolan, whereas Michael's picked his one in drama, two in classics, three in Christopher Nolan, and four in Jennifer Lawrence. So we will start with Tyler. And uh, Nick, I will give Tyler his questions. You will give Michael his. Perfect. So Tyler, uh, since you are five points behind, we will stick with you for a little bit. Your one pointer in sci fi fantasy. What 2009 sci fi film directed by Neil Blomkamp starred and starring Chartel Copley features aliens referred to as prawns? District 9? That's correct for one point. Your two pointer in the category of war. Who directed the 2014 war drama Unbroken? 
Angelina Jolie. That is correct for two points. And now we go to your three-pointer and Jennifer Lawrence. If you hit this, you do force Michael to answer some questions and avoid the TKO. <laughs> three-pointer, Jennifer Lawrence. In American Hustle, what kind of business did Irving Rosenfeld's father own? It was a window, a uh, class replacement window store. That is correct for three points. Okay, so now we go over to Michael and his one-pointer in drama, Nick. I got you. Michael, your one-pointer in drama is as follows. Who plays Mason's father in Boyhood? Ethan Hawke. That's correct for one point and the tie, but we will read you your two-point question in the category of classics. Your two-pointer. In what 1951 classic would you find the characters of Stanley Kowalski and Blanche Dubois? A streetcar named Desire. That is correct for two points and the lead. Okay, so now we are in a situation where Tyler has to hit his four in order to force Michael to uh, answer some more questions. If not, Michael does win the match. Tyler, are you ready? Ready. In The Dark Knight Rises, Alfred tells Bruce he takes a holiday to what Italian city every year? Florence? Italy. That is correct for four big points. Okay, so now we are going are gonna to go to Michael. Yes. Three-pointer in Christopher Nolan. If he hits either his three-pointer or his five-pointer or four-pointer, then Michael does win the match. That is correct. Michael, your three-point question in Christopher Nolan. In Inception, while in his apartment, how does Saito realize he is still in another dream? Repeat the question. Repeating the question. In Inception... While in his apartment, how does Saito realize he is still in another dream? Uh, he notices the carpet is different. And your winner! It is Michael, the golden god, Campbell. That is the correct answer. Tyler, a fantastic <laughs> round of fantastic match in general. Let's go to post-match interviews. Cody, do you want to do a big first order one? Or? Yeah, we can do a big one. Oh, I, have no, okay. I have no crap talk to say you about you anything. Just go and have Nick lead it? Sure, that's even better. I, I mean, yeah. Great. Uh, okay, uh, cool. I, I am leading an interview. Lovely. Uh, Michael, how are you feeling about the win? Usually Cody talks first, but I want to yeah. say Yeah, uh, Michael's not going to talk. Uh, Michael's not going to talk until we have a title match. Um, basically, what that how it boils down. Um, listen, I hate that it happened to Tyler because Tyler played a, a great game. There was no – I had no issue with anything that he said. Um, uh, but it just happened to fall this way. I know Tyler can recover – and this is the whole reason why I managed Michael instead of Tyler. And people can say, oh, you pick favorites inside the first order and all that stuff. Tyler can recover from a loss here because he's one and one now. He's fresh in this competitor. He will get another match. He will play another person. And he will he will win that next match. I guarantee he'll win that next match. Michael is three and three. He's an established player. If he lost this match today, he is done for the season. He does not get another shot. He doesn't get to play singles for the rest of the season. So that's why how important this was for Michael to actually pull off the win. I hate that it happened to Tyler because Tyler played an amazing game. But where it came down to is that – and it came so close. It was – they both got strengths. They both ran it. The 90s, there's a lot of crap in the 90s of action movies. He probably wasn't <laughs> thinking of some of them. How actor, how director filmography started, it didn't start the way we wanted it either. So, like, it could have been either way. Five-point lead is so hard to come back from in our round three. But Tyler will be back. Tyler will win this league. I could see Tyler – playing for a title in this league. He is strong. 
Um, this is honestly perfect for the first order in some way too, because Tyler is also going to be in the fandom tournament. So now Tyler can devote his time to fandom and Michael can go into this and we can maybe dominate both the tournaments. That's, I think that's the overall goal. Uh, Michael played a great game. Tyler played a great game. Tim played a great job as manager. Um, yeah, I think we all did well today. Anybody else have anything to say before we wrap it up? Yeah, I'm proud of how both of them played. Tyler crushed it, hit his one, two, three, and four. Dope, Michael, one, two, and three, beautiful. If this is how the first order is going to play in Warzone, then that's that's good. We're we're rocking it. Let's do this. Back to table book. Tuig, thank you for doing that. I didn't get yelled at by Cody. You you are a saint. I, I try my best. Thank you, Tuig. My uh, this was actually a good match. I enjoyed the match. match. Uh, it was a, yeah, it was very good. Um, yeah, and we will see Tyler back. And uh, I didn't get a chance to ask Michael or Cody how they feel about potentially facing the winner of Dominic and Nazario, but I can assume what Cody would do. We will destroy them. Okay, cool. Um, so from Michael, from Tyler, from Tim, from Cody, and from Nick the Name Tuig, I'm Caleb Little Bob Boatman. This has been Multiplex Movie Warzone. Case dismissed. Bring in the dancing lobsters.